last, uh, you know, really decade, decade and a half now, um, we've been able to operate as clearly the best military. And for the infantry force, um, we've had no real challenge to us. But the baseline has to be is that we have to remain the decisive force for the United States military, not just the Army, but for the military that can hold, seize, and retain ground to ensure that we can win. You can't do anything without mastering the basics. We have a new marksmanship uh, qualification that's coming out. It's still 40 rounds, but now you're gonna go from prone, prone unsupported, kneeling, and standing. It'll be six minutes, still 40 rounds, um, but it won't be the old shoot from a foxhole and from the prone. It'll be what you're, what we think you're gonna do in combat. So that's one change that we've done. I'm sorry, huh? The other one is we'll run a pilot to extend, uh, you know, infantry training here, OSIT, one station unit training, the equivalent of basic and AIT. We're doing a pilot starting in July to take that out to 21 weeks to make sure that we're producing the right person that can walk into a unit and fight, win, and survive. You know, we've had all the different domains of battle. We've just added in now cyber and space, and part of that is, a, is really the urbanization of the world. We're just making sure that we are, one, preparing all of our soldiers here at Fort Benning uh, to make sure that they can fight, win, and survive in a multi-domain environment. And then obviously, we want to make sure that things uh, that we develop and put in their hands are ready to fight in an urban and subterranean environment. Alpha team, pick up, let's go. At this point, the infantry and really all of the Army and other services were at an inflection point. And we know that we're going to continue to uh, fight in the Middle East for probably a, another decade, but also we have to make sure that we're ready to deter and ultimately win against any near peer. We know that we have to invest in proven soldier and leader training and preparation, improve threat detection and identification, increase uh, capability to overmatch our opponents in the close fight, and improve our mobility. All of those things we're doing right now.